Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. I know it wasn't that long ago that we did another unboxing, but I keep having these delays in filming and reviewing and health and family issues, just all kinds of things going on, keep getting in the way of doing my work. So anyway, we've got a pile of boxes here that we're gonna dig into. You're gonna see all the stuff that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys in the near future. Yes, there's still stuff from the last unboxing that I still need to review, so if you want to check that video out, you'll still find some stuff out that you might not know about, but we are going to get into this stuff in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video. That's right, i got a sponsor for this video. I know that's not usual. I don't tend to take money in return for product advertising, but it depends on the product, and it happens to be a product that I actually really like. So I, I said, okay, let's do it. So the company is Into the AM, and it's a graphic apparel company, basically like graphic tees, hoodies, pants, all kinds of stuff. This is one of the shirts, it happens to be the favorite one that I, my favorite one that I have. They're very nice, you can see they're very saturated. I love the colors. I've got a couple other ones here I can show you. Uh, but these guys make really good stuff. The clothing itself fits great. Now, I have to tell you, they're not telling me what to say. It's still up to me to say what I want to say about this stuff. I'm telling you, I love the fit of it. Uh, this is just like a regular large. Normally I wear a tall, but they have slightly longer hem. So that's kind of nice. But there's one of the designs right there. And these are just the average tee. And they have more of an athletic cut, if you like that kind of thing. The narrower uh, sleeves, more of a tapered, longer torso. They're very, very nice fitting, as far as I'm concerned. My wife was very pleased with it. She liked it a whole bunch. So for those of you looking to attract the ladies, these might do it. Um, but I love the design. They're, they're all very unique and colorful, very nice. Uh, and the cool thing is, part of the sponsor is, you guys get a discount code, it's down in the description below. There's a link to take you to the site. You get 10% off your order, which is anything you order on the site. And if you use it for their t-shirt club, you get your first month free. So. That's a pretty nice deal. And on top of that, you can use the discount code with the bundled products. So if you wanna do a bundle, you can do things like graphic teaser three for 60 or basic tees three for 45. And the pricing for what you get guys, genuine, honest uh, review, if you will, totally worth it. These are very, very nice t-shirts. They're as nice as any t-shirt I've ever had, especially a graphic t-shirt. I love them. The print quality is excellent. They're, these are all washed, by the way. I washed them all just to make sure they'd hold up properly. Uh, I'm not gonna not gonna endorse something that's actually no good. And they held up wonderfully. The colors are great. They, they're perfect. I love them. Um, they fit well. The cotton is very nice, very comfy. It's great. These kind of sponsorships are the kind I would do all day long, every day, because uh, I actually like the product. So I would definitely recommend you guys check them out. Again, the link is in the description below, and you do get 10% off, with, and that is good for anything you order, and you do get your first month free if you sign up for the t-shirt club. So check them out, Into the AM. Love their designs. There's all kinds of different stuff on there, guys, and uh, let me know if you get anything. If you do, send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram or something like that, and I'd be cool to see what you guys get. So there it is. Okay, let's jump in to the actual unboxing. Boxing. That's what you guys came here for. Sponsor stuff is nice. It pays for the channel sometimes, um, but also it's nice to have nice products to show you guys also. And those are really good prices. Okay, let's just do it. I've got a whole bunch of boxes here. Well, it's like four or five boxes. I don't know what's in them specifically. I know generally, but you guys know how it is. I order stuff like constantly because that's my job to review things. And so sometimes things arrive and I don't open them and I don't open them. And I sit on them for unboxing videos like this. And I don't know what's in them. So let's see what we have. This one is, okay, this is a premium Bandai package. It is after much delay, Kid Gohan, Young Gohan. I know that's not what you want to see. Let me, uh, I was adjusting the computer, the camera. Let's do this. Let's see what's inside this. Hopefully it's not like some kind of crazy defect. You guys know I've had bad luck with the premium Bandai stuff and pretty much everything I review. So let's see after all the delay, if this is looking good. I like the head sculpts. You guys get a look at that. I know some people got them a long time ago. Um, apparently I was in the bad luck batch, which is not surprising, but it actually looks really solid. I'm psyched for this. This is the kind of stuff I want them to make more of. These more classic designs, the traditional looks, things like that. This one is like the most exciting Dragon Ball figure I've planned to get or gotten in a very long time. So that, that makes me happy. Let's see what else we have. Something from Ami Ami. So let's see, that's probably gonna be, if it's Ami Ami,
what would it be for Ami Ami? Uh, maybe another Dragon Ball figure? I don't remember. What would I have gotten from them? So I don't normally order from these guys unless it's something that I'm gonna get way earlier than like Big Bad Toy Store because I need to review it for you guys. But, ah, haha. Ooh, this is another one that I've been very excited about. Again, more traditional designs. Character designs and characters in general. There you go. Frieza, first form, and his Frieza Copter, which is not what it's called. Get it. Move it this way, oh my gosh. I keep changing my setup for these kind of videos, and it's not the best idea ever, but there you go, you can see that. The eyes look a little weird, honestly. Some of these heads, the eyes look weird. They're very far forward. He's got kind of like a, a beaked look on his face, like a pinched forward look. It's kind of strange. It looks like some of the other faces are gonna look better. If they look like this, see how those faces look pretty good? Those faces look really good. But look at his head up here. Let's see if we can get in nice and tight on that. That looks super duper strange. So I don't know about that. We'll see. That looks really cheap and crappy. Maybe the face is just not in all the way. No, they're whole heads almost. I don't know. We'll see. That's what the review's for. It looks like a really good figure with some problems. Also, it doesn't appear to have a lot of paint on it, which means Dragon Stars might be right on the heels. So, I don't know. Um, all right, let me know if you guys collect the Dragon Stars. Like, for, or do you intermix? Do you intermix your Dragon Ball SH figure arts with your Dragon Stars figures? Like with Cell, for instance, or maybe Frieza. Uh, I still have my Dragon Star Cell. It still beats all of the, as far as like size and accuracy, it still beats all of the SH figure arts. So that's cool. All right, let's see what we have in here. This is a big bad toy store pile of loot. Link in the description below if you want to get some stuff from them. I've always recommended Big Bad Toy Store long before I had any sort of partnership. It's not really a partnership, but any sort of deal with them. So we got a whole bunch of Gundam Universe stuff. I've been dying to look at these guys for a while and Wing is my jam, so I got Gundam Wing. I'm gonna fill out the whole team. If anybody has a line on Sandrock, I know it's not released yet, but let me know, because I really need to get a Sandrock. But their pre-orders are sold out at Big Bad Toy Store. So there's one of the wing suits. And are both wings in here? I don't remember which ones I sent. No, it's not in here. But there's one, another one. The most impert important, important one, that's God Gundam, AKA Burning Gundam, if you're not familiar. Terrible packaging. <laughs> the window is so tiny, you can't really see the figure in there. Let's see. Oh, it looks nice. They both look pretty nice. This one's got metallic on it. Big smudge on the shield. Of course, we had to have Talgies. Hopefully we get Talgies 2 in there and Talgies 3. I'll buy any of these. I will buy any of them anytime. Hopefully, hopefully they release all the ones I want them to release. And then lastly, we have a folded card on, I don't care about that, uh, Death Scythe. So that's pretty cool for that box. You don't really see much of the figures in these boxes. They look so nice, like they don't pose for crap. If the earlier ones that I reviewed are any indication, they don't pose very well, but they do look great and they're not that expensive. They're like 25 bucks. So it's probably worth it. They're a little bigger than an RD. I don't know, I still have all the robot Domishis, but I wanted to get these because I like the wing suits a lot. I don't know, I like the wing. I might get, I'll probably stick with the G Gundam stuff also. I don't know, we'll see. Which ones are you guys collecting if you're collecting any of these? Are you, are you collecting Robot Domishi? Let me know. I like to talk to you guys about what you're doing so that I can review stuff that's relevant and also stuff that I like, so we'll see. All right, one more box. This is a bigger one. Another big bad toy store pile of loot. So let's see what's in this one. I have no idea what's in this one. I need to figure out some way to have big boxes of toys that fit on the table in front of me in front of the camera. I don't think that's possible. Maybe I could have another, I don't have the budget for that. We can't afford extra cameras. That's not something that's happening. All right, so the first thing is we have this one, which is the Civil Warrior, which is basically a repaint of the um, that other one, which was a solid figure. Looks way cooler on the box art. <laughs> we have that nice V-shape superhero build. And he's got relatively narrow shoulders, but still a cool figure. And that the shield looks nice. That's good. Here we have Iron Man with his AI head. That's kind of cool. Still wouldn't be surprised if we get something like that in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe when they decide they want to make a lot more money. Uh, here we have uh, 
Wenwu, I don't know these characters at all from Shang-Chi, but it looks like a decent MCU type of character, type of figure. So they usually do a pretty good job with those. Accuracy seems decent on the face, that's cool. Here we have um, uh, Mr. Death Dealer. Hey, that's my gamer tag on Xbox. There you go, there's the Death Dealer. I don't know what that is, who that is, but it's a cool looking figure. It seems accurate, seems well put together. Eyes are a little googly, but very nice, I like it. They uh, used my idea for throwing kunai on the accessory that I have for Rival Clans, but oh well. I guess they can do that. And here we have uh, Shang-Chi himself. Mr. Chi, there you go. The MCU figures are generally pretty good. They seem to be doing a good job still here. So, yeah, I'm not excited about MCU type stuff, but I know you guys are, and I want to do the Builder figures, so so I do that. What's this one? Zhaoling. That's close to probably how it's pronounced. I haven't studied Chinese in a long time. Looks like a decent figure. The accuracy on the head sculpt is definitely getting better as far as I can tell. So that's cool. All right, what else? We also have uh, Shao Kahn. I just watched the Mortal Kombat movie on HBO Max. Definitely, <laughs> definitely wasn't what I was hoping it would be. Not bad, but I'm wondering how many people actually liked it and how many people just liked a few scenes. Um, hopefully they do better with the next one. But this looks decent. There's definitely some weird issues going on here, but... Yeah, maybe it's cool. It looks good enough. I really don't care about owning this, but I wanted to review it for you guys. Next one up is Forehead Man. Batman, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said Forehead Man because that's the only thing I could notice when I was looking at this. It does look like a pretty cool figure. This is the blue and gray version. There is a black and gray version. So if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. What is on his chest? Why can't I get figures with good QC? Look at right next to the bottom of the Bat logo. Can you guys get in there and see that? There's a big schmutz on his chest. And his forehead's huge, but it, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. I like the big bulky body. They're getting better at the bodies for sure. The head's a little strange. Heads are still super weird. But I'm, I'm digging this. That's kind of cool. All right, two more things. Oh, apparently I ordered Darth Maul. Yuck. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> it's actually really bad looking. It's like this fancy, like... It looks like a VHS thing, honestly. I guess it's supposed to be VHS, it doesn't look like a book. But so you get this fancy packaging, and then you pop it open, and you're expecting to see like a Darth Maul that looks something like that, and then look at it. He's very frumpy looking, and look at the, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the paint, how terrible the paint is on the chest. It's really terrible. Hopefully you could tell through the packaging. Oh God, this figure is hideous. There's like three different colors of red, shades of red. The anatomy looks rough as hell. Oh my gosh. This is one of the worst things I've seen, like, first impression. Maybe ever. Especially with the packaging that's like, oh, it's fancy, look how nice it is. Ew, it's terrible. Disgusting. Can't wait to review that. And then the last thing for the day is a Bizarro. There it is. There's Bizarro. And that's pretty good looking. Looks like Bizarro pretty much. I still like that purple Superman that they made as a good Bizarro figure, but this looks good. He's got very weird shaped legs. Look how tiny his thighs are and how long his shins are. Now granted on Bizarro you can probably get away with weird stuff like that, but he's not drawn that way. He still has big thighs, smaller lower legs, you know, that kind of thing. But it looks well enough done that it won't be a total show when I review it. But definitely some weird stuff in this. Honestly, I'm most excited for Gohan and some of the Gundam Universe stuff. Maybe Shao Kahn. Marvel Legends, they look really good. Like this one particularly looks really nice. They did a good job on that. Get a closer look on that. That looks really, really nice. I just don't care about it. So I'm really psyched for Gohan. I'm psyched for these guys. And I'm pretty actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty actually excited. I can't say words anymore. I don't sleep. I don't know what's going on. Um, this guy actually looks pretty good for what I thought he was going to look like. I'm pretty excited for that one. It's the Todd McFarlane design for Batman. Definitely could do without the forehead, but the rest is pretty nice. Pop a new head on that. Might need to get a replacement from the chest thing. But yeah, pretty cool stuff, I guess. Um, honestly, I'm pretty more... I'm, I really can't talk anymore. Not enough caffeine, probably. Um, I'm actually more excited for the shirts than most of this stuff. And that's not just me saying that because I'm getting paid. I told you, they didn't tell me what to say. I just really like these shirts. I like them a lot. I need to, I only wear t-shirts basically everywhere, like all the time. So these kind of things are awesome for me. They're good price and they look cool. 
And I can't just wear comic stuff everywhere. People think I'm weird. Not because of that, but I figured I'd throw that in there. All right, guys, let me know what you want me to review first. If you like the Gundam stuff, the Dragon Ball stuff, the Marvel stuff, the DC stuff, or even this hideous, hideous Darth Maul, or Mortal Kombat. Let me know what you want me to review first. Put it in the comment section below. If you have any of this stuff, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you made it this far in the video, all you have to do is say Darth Maul is hideous. What an ugly figure. If you can't spell hideous, sound it out. You'll be able to get close enough. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you didn't subscribe yet, why? But you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day. Normally, sometimes I can't because I'm out of town or whatever, but normally it's almost every single day. And I do have thousands, literally thousands. I think we're up to almost, or just over 4,000, something like that, videos on the channel. So if I do have a couple of days where I'm not uploading, just scroll back in my video list. You'll find something you haven't seen, most likely. So plenty of stuff there. Come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.